Hey, hey, YouTubers! Method Fanatic here again, and today I'm here to show you how to copy an obtuse angle. Previously, I showed you guys how to copy an acute angle, and so the instructions are exactly the same. Just for some reason, some students get a little confused when it comes to obtuse angles, so I'm just going to show you what that looks like, so that when you encounter your obtuse angles, you'll be able to copy those too. So right now I already have set up here um, an angle F and I'm just going to go through and I'm going to do all the motions that it takes to uh, copy and label an obtuse angle and hopefully you can just follow along so you can just enjoy the music. And there we have it, uh, an obtuse angle that was copied. I got a little bit sloppy down here. It's hard for the software to be so precise, uh, but essentially that's what you do. Again, the steps are all the same for an acute angle. I didn't label a couple of the intersections, but again, I was just showing you a quick way to do it for an obtuse angle. Once more, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Until next time.